Hi, my name is Chelsea Tony, and I'm a student in the Doctorate in Athletic Training program at Indiana State University. I also work as the athletic trainer uh, for the cheer and dance teams at Indiana State University. Today I'm going to be um, briefly discussing um, a screening tool that can be used um, in clinical practice. It's a patient-rated outcome measure. Um, so this, the name of this screening tool is the DAS-21. This is also known as the Depression Anxiety Stress Scale 21. So if we look at the screening tool, this is what it looks like. Um, there's, it's a, the DAS is um, a 21 item questionnaire consisting of a depression scale, an anxiety scale, and stress scale with seven questions uh, specifically tailored to each topic. So the survey is 21 continuous questions so that the individual taking the survey does not know the different significance of each question. Each question is scored on a four-point Likert scale from zero to three, with zero corresponding to did not apply to me at all, and to three with applied to me very much or most of the time, as you can see it described in this document right here. The higher patient scores in the survey, the more often they are experiencing symptoms. So the, the dash should not be used solely as a screening tool, um, as the three subscales that you can see um, assess dimensional components of the anxiety and depressive disorders as opposed to the entirety of diseases. This screening tool would be beneficial to implement and utilize for any individuals that may work or participate in stressful environments. Uh, this can include firefighters who are actually rated as, the, as, as having the number one most stressful job in 2015. Uh, military service personnel, pilots, police officers, and even actors or broadcasters. So it can also vary person to person. Some people may find their job or sport to be more stressful than their coworker or teammate feels it to be. Uh, utilizing this as a screening tool may be beneficial to recognize these anxiety, depression, and stress symptoms, um, then later address them and hopefully improve them. So the DAS-21 has been shown to have good internal consistency um, re and reliability and same with the high convergent validity when compared to other anxiety and depression scales like the hospital anxiety and depression scale, the personal disturbance scale, or the positive and negative um, effect schedule. Um, the DAS-21 is available for free download on the web and only requires the clinician to do short arithmetic to score each survey. Um, there's only a nominal cost involved with administering the DAS-21 and that's basically just the cost um, to print the document if you're choosing to use it paper-based versus um, digital and then a pen if you choose to do paper-based again. If you would like to look into the DAS more, you can reference the sources below. I have also provided the website to locate the questionnaire. Thank you for watching.